South Africa is located in the southern part of the African continent. The country is known for minerals like gold and diamonds as well as the wildlife resources. The area of this country is 12 lakhs 32037 square kilometer. Let us study the location, extent and boundaries of this country. South Africa extends from 22 degrees 7 minutes south to 34 degrees 52 minutes south latitudes and from 16 degrees 20 minutes east to 31 degrees 15 minutes east longitudes. See color figure for the location, extent and boundaries of the country and answer the following. 1. List the names of the countries that neighbor South Africa. Zimbabwe, Nambia, Botswana. These are South Africa's neighboring countries to its north and Mozambique lies to the northeast. 2. Which are the oceans on its eastern and western sides? To its east lies Indian and its west lies Atlantic Ocean. 3. South Africa surrounds one nation. Name it. Students, do you know the name of that nation? It is Lesotho. 4. In which hemisphere is South Africa located? Sea latitudes. Looking at the latitudes, we can say that South Africa is located in the southern hemisphere. See this color map. You will realize that the central part of the country is occupied by a large plateau. The eastern, southern and western coastal lands are in the form of narrow strips. A hot desert can be seen in the northwestern part. Use the map to understand the physiography of the country and answer the following questions. 1. What is the altitude of the plateau in the central part? The altitude of the plateau in the central part is around 300 meters. 2. What are the altitudes of the coastal lands? The altitude of coastal land is 500 meters. 3. Name the mountains on the eastern and southern side of the central plateau. Try to locate in the map. We can see that to the east lies Drakensberg Range and to the south lies Mountain Great Karoo. 4. Which is the main river draining the central plateau? What is the direction of the flow of this river and its tributaries? The main river is orange and it flows westward and River Val is its tributary. 5. Name the river that demarcates the boundary between South Africa and Zimbabwe. See in this map, the Limpopo River flows on the borderline of Zimbabwe and Republic of South Africa. 6. Name the lake in this country. Students, it is very simple. Can you find it? It is Wal Lake. Can you guess? What would be the climate of this country after looking at the location and extent? Let us see. As this country is located in the temperate region, its climate has become mild and pleasant. In summer, the temperatures are from 20 degrees to 32 degrees Celsius, whereas it is between 10 degrees to 20 degrees Celsius in winter, that is June, to August. In the mountainous areas, because of the altitude, the climate is cool. In the coastal areas, summer is hot and humid and winter is dry. However, in desert areas, temperatures are high. This country gets summer rains mainly from October to February. Rainfall decreases from east to the west. In the east, it is around 1,400 mm, while in the west, it reduces to 600 mm. 
due to considerably low rainfall deserts have formed in the western and northern parts of the country the bengula cold current flows along the western coast explain how this will influence the climate of the coastal region the cold current bengula reduces the temperature of the western coast now let us take a look at the natural resources of south africa vegetation in the mountainous region we find broad leaf deciduous forests the weld plateau is known for the grasslands see color map towards the south near cape town we find trees like olive spruce pine etc on the basis of your previous knowledge find what type of plants would be found in the kalahari and namib deserts broadleaf plants are found in kalahari and namib deserts now let us see which animals and birds are found in this country in weld grasslands herbivores like bisons and elephants carnivores like cheetahs and lions and omnivores like baboons are found in large numbers due to large scale hunting in last few decades the number of these animals has dwindled to counter the situation the government has established national parks and sanctuaries see the map and make a list of the sanctuaries and national parks petersburg karoo tankwa karoo mountain zebra royal natal ogra bees walbos and wilderness are sanctuaries and national parks of south africa minerals there are gold and diamond mines in this country the country is specially known for gold mines some other important minerals are also found in this country by seeing the map make a list of these minerals and on the basis of the same answer the following questions 1 which minerals are found near kimberley town the minerals like diamonds iron ore and chromium are found near kimberley town 2 along which coast are the diamond mines the diamond mines are found along the western coast of south africa 3 list the minerals found near dundee town coal and iron ore are found near dundee town let us see occupations carried out by this country agriculture agriculture in this country has secondary importance its proportion is also less on the weld plateau crops like corn and tobacco are cultivated in natal province sugarcane bananas are taken and elsewhere we find fruit gardens with grapes oranges pineapples etc see the map and answer the following 1 list the major crops from this country major crops from this country are maize sugarcane cotton tobacco potato apple banana grapes citrus fruits vegetables etc 2 which major commercial crops are shown on the map major commercial crops shown on the map are sugarcane cotton and tobacco 3 which agricultural products are obtained in the region near pretoria agricultural products like vegetables tobacco and citrus fruits are obtained in the region near pretoria 4 the coast along which two ports is known for fruit gardening the coast along port elizabeth and cape town is known for fruit gardening animal husbandry this is a major occupation of this country rearing of sheep and goats pigs cattle etc is carried on in the vast grassland region 
on the weld plateau on the basis of your previous knowledge list the industries based on animal husbandry that may have developed in this region industries like wool industry dairy and meat production industry are developed in this region fisheries an extensive coast bengula cold current along the west coast and the plankton the choice feed for fishes that is available on the continental shelves are responsible for the large fish population in this area hence fisheries have become a major activity in south africa mackerel sardines etc are the fish found in this area industries due to agriculture and mining different types of industries are found here canning is the agro based industry while dairy and meat products industries are based on animal husbandry these industries are found in the country diamond cutting manufacturing of machinery paper chemical are the industries flourishing in the country answer the following questions with the help of the map 1 which industries have developed around port cape town the industries of fertilizers food stuffs tobacco ship building and oil refinery are developed around port cape town 2 near which port do we find the industries like automobile tire manufacturing and cotton textile near port durban we find industries like automobile tire manufacturing and cotton textile 3 for which industries is the region around durban port famous for industries like automobiles rubber tires cotton wool and textiles and paper industries 4 list the industries around johannesburg smelting gold diamond cutting coal mining are the industries around johannesburg 5 on which river are the hydroelectricity centers the hydroelectricity centers are on river orange trade the country imports different metals and the machinery required for different industries its export list includes gold diamonds minerals wool canned fish corn and fruits germany usa uk japan are the major trading partners of south africa their trade relations with india are growing let us see the means of transport and communication in south africa transport and communication play an important role in the economic development of the country answer the following questions with the help of the map that shows the transport network in the country 1 which transport routes are available in the country roadway railway waterway and airway are the transport routes available in the country 2 name any three ports cape town port elizabeth and durban are the ports in south africa 3 towards which cities or ports do the roads and railways starting from pretoria head the roads and railways starting from pretoria head cities like kimberley worcester and ports like durban cape town etc 4 list the cities which have airports cities like pretoria durban cape town port elizabeth and johannesburg have airports 5 write the name of the country's capital the country's capital is pretoria tourism every year tourists visit this country in large numbers particularly to see the sanctuaries with rich animal populations in old days there were colonies of indians in natal province mahatma gandhi fought for their rights tourists pay a visit to gandhi ji's memorial in natal human life about 76 percentage of south africa's population is of the negroid race hausa zulu swazi sotho and swana are the main tribes from south africa 
English and Afrikaans are the official languages of South Africans. The coastal tracts have very dense population. As against this, the plateau area and deserts have a sparse population. In the rural areas, houses are simple. The walls are thick and the roofs are flat. In the east, where rainfall is high, the houses have conical roofs made up of grass and have cylindrical mud walls. In urban areas, the houses are multi-storied and they have all modern amenities. Items made up of wheat and corn along with vegetables, fruits, meat, fish and dairy products form the diet of these people. In rural areas, men wear trousers and a long coat or shirt. They cover their head with a cap or turban. Women wear long dresses and a shawl or a scarf. They cover their head with the scarf. People from urban areas use modern attire.